No! Yeah! In Generation 1, Slug went by a different name that referred to smolting metal, but there's an alternate definition, and since I don't want to get in trouble with the UK, I'll just stick with Dinobot Slug. He's constantly angry, hot-tempered, and ready to fight. He appeared in The Transformers the Movie in typical fashion led by Grimlock for their epic space adventure to kick Unicron's butt or smash a door. The leader class gave them a better chance at better figures since Power of the Primes, but Slug didn't come alone. Wheelie was a good idea, right? No. So let's do it again. This is Daniel, based on Spike's son in the film. He's pretty simple, in a constant squat, like he's still learning how to walk in it. I'm not as upset as I was with Wheelie, as human figures are usually just an inclusion. I guess the shape is right, but the paint is bare with no effort on the dome. It looks human in there, like it just fogged up. At least there's ball joints in the elbows, and he can hold core class weapons, but without a shoulder joint, he just looks like a drummer. He can plug onto Slug's shoulder in robot mode, or using the inside the legs, he can ride Slug like an Uber. It's there, but with or without Spike's core figure to compare, it's just a pathetic nothing. The Slugtastic Slug looks pretty beasty and strong. Of course, Grimlock will always be king, but with the massive metal frail, smooth plated head, and multiple horns, this demolition derby tricep Ceratops is a battering ram potato. He fits in with Grimlock with the colors, theme, and combination of smooth surfaces and mechanical greebling that doesn't overtake it. The front legs use the same joints as the robot arms, but the back legs have a hip, knee, and foot joint. Nothing at the head, but his jaw opens. There's a cover for the robot head, and there's a blast port, but it's pretty close to the panel, making choices for blast effects pretty limited. I do like how the legs collapse, and while feeding the hinge to the tail can be tricky, it does become pretty solid once locked in. Under the the tail you can store the weapon, and on top you can add Daniel, like I said. There's 5mm portholes on the shoulders, above the hips, and top. Plus, with the sides out, you'll believe potatoes really fly. There's more under the body, and with the hands, what's more troubling than a dinosaur with laser fists? Going back to the head, I love the logo and painted eyes, just be careful the horns don't snap off. This robot reptilian is a good second part of the dino crew. While the beam through the body to the tail might be tricky to line up, and the sides can pop out of alignment, once everything is in, he's a satisfying football of an ancient animal. Robot mode. <laughs> Now ain't this a charmer, he's just so handsome, hefty, and I mean he's glowing with the red rage. It's perfect, I'm adoring the dino head hoodie. I'd like to wear one, do you have them in human size? I even like how the tail collapses, and cute, he's got wings. Check out the wide shoulders and how the jaw fills the center. Amazing little touches with the metallic blue and green on the knees. Just gotta hope I don't collapse them too far forward. That's how I broke it last time and I had to do a cheap mod. I swear I was gentle. The head is nice too, I'm glad that went with red. The shape is fine, boxy, and I like the squared eyes. I'm also glad the dino hoodie is out of the way enough to move it. It's almost like articulation! Bulger at the head, shoulders out and in forward, the back rotation below, elbow bend, wrist rotation, waist rotation, hips out and in forward, the back rotation below, knee bend and foot tilt. Posability is pretty good, and all the joints seem to be pretty solid. Certainly works with other Studio Series Dinobots. Okay, perhaps not TF4 Grimlock, but two things to note. The knee I mentioned earlier, and I did crack the frail hinge when I first transformed it. My bad. Let's take a look at the accessories. He comes with this long rifle weapon, completely painted in gray that looks pretty classic. There's portholes in the feet, side of the legs, hands, shoulders, and back, as well as small portholes for Daniel, which, ew, I'd rather it come with the sword. And thanks to JRC Designs, I can easily do so. Or I could get the comic Grimlock, cause swords are plenty. It's unfortunate that my copy ran into some issues, and I'm not sure if I'm to blame for it, since the design didn't really stop it from happening. Aside from that, this is a nice, bulky Dinobot like the others. The problems didn't stop me from getting sludge. I'm still very impressed by the size, the transformation, the alt form, and the feel of the robot design. Daniel is forgettable in this, but there's so much slug here that you could just forget about that small thing. I know why they switched the name, but... I wouldn't want to be called Slug.